Well, it is about 6.30 a.m. on this Thursday, and my family and I, Jamie and I, are heading out on a little family vacation. We're unfortunately not going to Disney right now. Uh, we're going to some Disney-themed cabins in Alberta, and uh, it's been a little while since we've posted some videos, and so we thought we'd bring you along, do some vlogging, and so come on, enjoy. I'm supposed to hit the road by 10 a.m. Let's see if that happens. I'm betting it won't. Disneyland. You are right. We are going to go to Charmed Resorts and stay in. Where? What? What cabins are we staying in, Claire? Rapunzel and. We're we're staying in the Rapunzel and the Tinkerbell cabin. But this feels kind of like a magical vacation. It's not a Disney vacation, but it does feel magical because we're staying at Charmed Resorts. It's magical because we haven't gone anywhere in a year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we are trying to get out of the house. We were supposed to get out of the house around 10 and get on the road, but we are much later. Brad, what time is it? Like yeah, it's almost noon. So you can tell we're kind of running behind. Do you ever feel like you're forgetting something? I feel like that all the time, especially when I'm packing for the whole family. Well, except for Brad, he can pack for himself, but packing for all the kids. And of course I forgot their hair gel. I know I got their toothbrushes. So we have the majority of the important things, I think. Have enough pair of underwear. Anything else that we are missing, we'll just have to buy. Because luckily this is a road trip and we have our car so we can go places. We are all packed and ready to go, right? Yes? Is there a slide? Yeah, there's a slide at our hotel. <laughs> Are you going to go on the water slide, Claire? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So if you haven't figured it out, our family is currently living in Canada. We're, my husband and I, and actually Claire too, she was born in Canada. Lyndon and Nolan, where were you guys born? America. Yeah, do you remember what state? Yes, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, because um, Brad and I lived in Oklahoma for eight years. So we are living up here and we decided to do a road trip, which is, how far away is it, Brad? Uh, Charm Resorts is about seven hours. Um, so we heard about this kind of, I, I followed them on Instagram. They're called Charmed uh, Playhouses. Playhouses. Yeah. And they actually had a TLC show uh, where they made playhouses for people. And for they're like, 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 like celebrities like Seth Curry. And yeah, yeah. Seth was by far like, or Steph Curry. And, and he was by far the biggest star. And they yeah. started with that and then kind of went downhill from there. And it was about, like, they started, what, 30,000? and Go up to, like, hundreds of thousands. Yeah, of the, it's they're literally insane. like a house. They actually bought some land and started Charmed Resorts, where they, it's brand new, like, just opened this summer. And they um, have built playhouses where you can go and rent them out. It's kind of like glamping. You know, you got... Um, all your things, bedding, everything, but you have to bring your own food. And um, there's a campfire, there's gonna be a uh, wood burning hot tub. It's, it's gonna be really awesome. Yeah. So um, there is themed ones. They have uh, kind of like Disney inspired ones, I should say, or fairy tale inspired ones. Uh, so they have the elven one, which we are calling the Tinkerbell house, right? And um, there is also the Rapunzel house. So we are so excited. Right now with uh, the current border regulations, it's super hard for our family to get out. Um, we are fully vaccinated, Brad and I, but the kids are not vaccinated yet because they're under 12. And with the current regulations, um, kids have to quarantine when they get back for 14 days from America, which is really ridiculous. And then you also have to take PCR tests both ways, which are about $200 each way. So for our family, we were looking at about two grand to even do a Disney vacation this summer. But we're going for the 50th anniversary. Yeah, we will be there in October we'll for the 50th. Be, we'll and then November, we're, we're doing Alani. Alani. So we have like a ton of uh, vacations coming up. She'll be on one of the first sailings of the Wish. Oh, I will. Yeah, I'm on the second inaugural sailing, which I'm so excited about. 
But so we figured anyway, we were just gonna stay like close to home until um, the PCR tests are a little bit more affordable or totally gone. So we um, are about six hours away from Crow's Nest where this charmed resort is. And then is it um, Banff and Lake Louise is about two hours away? Yep. So that's not too far. Um, so we decided we would go up and show you guys the Rocky Mountains and the crystal blue waters of Lake Louise. And um, just kind of show you our home where we're living and how beautiful Canada is. And if you ever end up coming up here, you have to stay at Charmed Resorts because it's kind of like a touch of Disney in Canada. I know it's not Disney, but um, it's a very magical place to stay, hey? It is. Well, we'll, so, well, we'll see. I, I've seen pictures on Instagram. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, we started being hungry. So we pulled out some Doritos. And then I started to think, I'm like, I swear I remember having Doritos as a kid, but it being like a thing I discovered. So I was like, do you remember when they created Doritos? And Brad's like, no, they were created more before our time. Google that. And I was like, no, I don't think so. So I just Googled it and I found a really cool Disney fact. Okay. Did you know that the nacho cheese Doritos... Wait, I've heard this. Keep going. Have you really? Have, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I totally didn't know this. Yeah. That they were actually created for Disneyland. That's right. So the original product was made at the Casa de Fritos at Disneyland Anaheim Park in California during the 1960s. Okay. When did it start getting produced mass? Um, it sounds like it was released nationwide in 1966. Boom! Correct! <laughs> You're totally right. Like, like Doritos came out before we were born. We're 85ers. Okay, well then went for Cool Ranch, because that must have been a thing that was... Yeah, now that could have came out in our lifetime, but I think just the plain Doritos, I was like, no, those were around. I can't think of... It's like McDonald's. Like, they've been around forever. I could have sworn, like, when we were teens, like, when that it we came out. teenagers? Were preteens? Like, I feel like it came out around the same time as Blue Pepsi. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, Blue Pepsi came out when we were teen teenagers near graduation. And it lasted for all of, like, six months. <laughs> Doritos didn't come out the same time as that? What? So we got a hotel that has uh, a, like a water park, so that's yeah. why we picked and this one. I'm just outside of uh, Charmed Resorts, so we can get to Charmed Resorts as early as we can tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. So that way we're like really close to it. How far may we go? About an hour and a half. Oh yeah, but she was giggling the whole time. <laughs> 